Hello, fiber friends. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because take two, you know, it helps if you turn the microphone on. This has been an ongoing problem all year, hasn't it? Um, I need to improve on this. Um, I haven't talked to you guys like this for a while. I hope you're all doing well. I hope things are going well for you. Um, <laughs> so many things happening here. Okay. Well, I'm all caught up with work. Kind of, sort of, I think. <laughs> Unless I hear from back from them. There's just so much going on. There has been a lot going on this summer. It seems like crazy, but I feel like I'm getting nothing done. Anyway, um, what have I gotten done? Just one whole item for three weeks. <laughs> it's a crocheted gift bag. Um, the darker teal, I used a leftover yarn right away as well as the lighter teal color, but you can see they, they are different, but the bottom is the darker color. Um, so it's done in pieces and then you crochet it together and then you go round and round for the top with your handles. I love the shorter handles. I've been using this bag already. Um, I used 10.23 ounces. You can see it's a pretty big bag. It's called a gift bag. It is a free pattern. Um, but I've been using it as a grocery bag instead of a gift bag because it's working fantastic. Some of my grocery bags are starting to break down, so it's time to make new ones. Um, I'd love to do more of these as gift bags because that would make fanta fantastic for Christmas. Um, but anyway, 10.23 ounces of yarn, 523.33 uh, yards in the making of this bag. I love it so much. I have already been using it. <laughs> um, let me give you my yearly total so far. I've done 411.77 ounces and 24,753.99 yards, taking me to my grand totals of 25.7 pounds as well as 14 miles. Um, I do need to... Um, catch up my notebook. I love this notebook because I can write everything in it, everything I'm doing each day on one side and then the other the other side I'm writing down um, finished items as well as ounces and yards so I can keep track of everything for y'all. But that's not the only reason I keep track of it because I like to know too. Um, if you've noticed on Manny there is this um, it looks like a scarf, but it's going to be a blanket. I've been working on blankets for the homeless. Um, and so this has been kind of the year of making blankets. And I'm trying to use up my leftover yarns. So it's been a bit of a challenge. Um, but anyway, the center of this, let me bring it closer, is actually tatted. So this is a two color tat and two columns and then you go round and round for the edging and then you join it together when you do the next strip. It's kind of one of those mile a minute projects, mile a minute afghans, but it's done with um, crotatting. And I use just a regular, a regular uh, Susan Bates type of hook. It worked just fine. Um, yeah, because I like Susan Bates. But anyway, I got that done. But with that being said, I'll finish this eventually. Um, it kind of inspired me with this dress. Um, it's kind of a tank top dress. I figured it would be fantastic. The summer's been so stinking hot. But the armholes are way too big. So it like shows off my bra and I kind of don't like that. So I got, I've been searching all summer for yarn to go with it. But as you can see, this is a lighter shade. It's not the same color. Um, but I've been inspired by this to do um, maybe knitting under the arm, do some short rows and close up this armhole a bit. And then do some of this tatting technique to add around the collar. Kind of like adding a necklace but attached and also maybe a belt and doing the tatting around the bottom edge as well to kind of tie the lighter shade in with the darker color 
Um, those are my thoughts. Um, let me know what you think if you think that would work good. Um, I love the look of tatting. Tatting adds beautiful lace. And I could do like a, a more of a triangular piece here to let it dingle down or something. And the tat, the tatting methods. Um, yeah, just kind of my thoughts. I've been bouncing in my head. Um, let me know what you think about that. I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you think that would be a good thing to do. But what else have I been up to? Um, like I said, I've been into blanket making. So I have been working a lot on this uh, 10 stitch cable. So if you've been in my Twitch channel at all, you'd see I've been working on this like forever. Um, I'm still going on it. Here's my, I'm using DPNs cause it's only 10 stitches, but I also do right hand knit and then left hand knit for, for all the rows. Um, and the other thing, the, I can tell the cat likes it. Um, I also been changing the cable, the center cable every five rows. So I did five rows of the one by one cable then I switched to a two by two cable and now I've switched to a one by one going different directions and coming back and crossing over and just a different cable um, since this goes every 15 goes around every goes around for 15 rounds Woo, thunder we have a thunderstorm moving in um, I have three rounds of this cable so I have two and a half more rounds to finish up I'm almost at the halfway corner here so I'll probably get there today um, so I've been working on that and I've been inspired by this project to start a 12 stitch cable blanket and this one's done in worsted weight instead of well the other one's a DK weight and the other one is lion brand cupcake yarn which is discontinued sorry to say the color was called robin egg um, this one here, I'm using leftover yarns and created my own cable stitch pattern. Um, whew, downpour. <laughs> um, so I'm going to write up this pattern and see how things go with that. Plus I have this blanket going. I also have a sweater I'm doing as a Christmas gift. I have another sweater to do as a Christmas gift. And I have a cardigan I want to do as a Christmas gift. Um, and then I think my Christmas gift making will be done. I also have a baby shower coming up in October. Um, so I, I have plans for a specific little something to make for that. Um, I'm not going to say what it is yet because I might end up changing my mind. I don't know. We'll see how things go with that. That is where I'm at for now. Um, <laughs> So I'm all caught up with you guys. I hope you're keeping up with all the things because I don't know if I am. <laughs> I'm trying to. We um, have rebuilt the steps on our front patio. And of course it's made of wood. We built it of wood. And so I've been out in the hot sun um, sealing in the wood. And I missed some spots so I had to go back and do a little bit more. Um, and trying to wrangle everything around to do that has just been kind of crazy um i don't know i might have to cancel stream due to storm today we'll we'll see how things go anyway thank you all for coming and hanging out appreciate you love you um i know there's a lot of fairs going on so if you if you entered anything i pray and hope you're doing well with all of that um i don't know <laughs> I did not enter anything. It's just been a crazy wild summer. So many things being done. I still have, uh, sorry, I have a spot right there. Uh, Cause they wore a necklace. Uh, let's see, it's just been a crazy wild summer. I still have those um, spinning wheels, the antique spinning wheels to finish um, revamping. I'm rebuilding them. Um, I'm not re rebuilding every part, but there are some parts that are harder than others to rebuild. So we'll see how those continue to go. 
um, I have one wheel I need to steam and try to um, flatten back out because it has a warp in it and that warp is just enough to throw the drive band off so I need to um, work on that um, well we'll see There's so many things just so many things I hope you're having a fantastic summer thank you so much for coming and hanging out and viewing my channel I greatly appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you in the future <laughs> Now that you've seen all the projects I'm working on, hopefully I can get some of those finished soon um, and get them in the books. Anyway, have a fantastic week. I hope you and enjoy are enjoying your summer and having a great time with family, friends, and all of the things. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a good night, great day, great week, whatever it may be. Love you. Thank you so much. Bye.